Have a safe and happy 4th from ABC 13. Tonight on Politically Incorrect, Meatloaf, Saturday Night Live, Norm McDonald, journalist Allison Stewart, and columnist Quinda Bowles. And now, the star of Politically Incorrect, Thank you. Thank you. Please. Please. I have to report this. I tell you, the O.J. Simpson lawyers, they have reached a new low. Did you see this? I'm not making this up. In the trial yesterday, they were mocking Ron Goldman because the plaintiff said, oh, he might have his re own restaurant by now. And Robert Baker, O.J.'s lawyer, said he'd be lucky to have a credit card. Isn't that low? And O.J. immediately picked up on the credit card theme and announced uh, plans for an ad. Visa, everywhere you say you were. <laughs> Um, I tell you. Now, the, the O.J. case may go to the jury this week, which is <clears throat> good news for everybody, especially uh, Geraldo can start taking off the glasses and getting back to talking to teenage hookers. So I, <laughs> I think he'll be happy. I'm kidding, Geraldo. We'll be, Geraldo will be with us Friday. I hope, he, I hope he'll still be with us Friday after that little remark. Anyway, uh, President Clinton announced a very important thing. He's going to hook up schools, wants to hook up schools to the Internet. Do you have your internet hooked up? I'm not an internet type, but uh, I hear it's terrific. He said all kids should be on the internet. He actually went too far. He called it a national shame that uh, teenage boys still have to masturbate with magazines. I think <laughs> that... Uh, <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, now how many are with America Online? That's one of the big internet things, I guess. Yeah, the... <laughs> I know, see, they're unhappy because there's so many people, it's so popular that they can't log on, and you gotta log on. Uh, but they, the you know, America Online people say, don't worry, if you're really uh, desperate to chat to a complete stranger, you can always hang out at the bus station. And <laughs> until they... <laughs> and <laughs> finally, I thought this is a very disturbing story. In England, they did a survey of priests over there. One third of them could not name all Ten Commandments. Is it, these are priests. In fact, one of them thought the Tenth Commandment was a new book by Robert Ludlum. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming. It's all been satirized for your protection. Panel. First, she won a Peabody Award for election coverage on MTV. Now she's a correspondent for CBS on 48 Hours and Coast to Coast. Allison Stewart. Hey, good luck. I'm good to see you again. How you been? You look great. All right, she is a syndicated columnist whose work has appeared in the Washington Post and the Chicago Tribune, one of our favorites, Linda Bowles. Hey. You look hot. How you doing? Thank you very much. All right, he is the anchor of Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update. He also does a mean Bob Dole. Is there any other kind? Norm MacDonald. Hey, buddy. Thank you for coming. <laughs> He's a rock and roll who sold over 45 million records. He could kick slip Slim Whitman's ass. <laughs> Our very own favorite bat out of hell, Meatloaf, is right up there. California. Uh, thank you. Hi, kids. Um, all right. Well, all right. Now, you're a musician. Did you watch the American Music Awards last night? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, you should have. It was on this network. Um, <laughs> well, I watched that last night, and I watched the Super Bowl, of course, like every other red-blooded American the day before. And I just, I was thinking maybe I'd get an acclamation from this panel right to start off. Could we have people in show business and sports stop? Thanking God for what they do. God could give a rat's ass if you won an award <laughs> or won a game. Like, like God cares about winning. No, wait a second. That's not what God's about, I mean, what right? The Cowboys are playing. 
Well, I thought God, I thought God was very, was very, you know, God is fair. I would say if you're God, right, I would say one of your, one of your qualities would be fairness, right? Uh, above all others. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought this was a very fair Super Bowl because Green Bay won by exactly 14 points. They cut, and they covered the spread, in other words, exactly. right? Exactly. Nobody won, nobody lost. <laughs> well, what does that have to do with God? I don't know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? That everybody gets up there, and they, the first thing they say is, thank God I want to thank God. For, but That's I don't see that I God like. is involved. <laughs> yeah. I think right. it's their hubris well, to even say such a thing. I think it's wonderful that they have faith in God. And they look to him for everything to do. I agree with you, Linda. Oh. No. <laughs> but that... In fact, I thank God that I'm here tonight with you, Bill. Uh. <laughs> but by the you same... Don't book. you think <laughs> so? I think so. Oh. Hallelujah, we're here tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He hopped up on goofball. Uh. <laughs> I think... But by the same token, the, the Patriots should lose their faith in God now. Exactly. They're being I mean, tested. They're being I think tested. that God has partisan... I mean, it's... I, it's a, I don't think God watched the American Music Awards, Exactly. Frankly. I mean, know. he didn't get to where he is by giving a, <laughs> a damn about The other thing is, how about this, this showboating that they all do, that these players, they celebrate the most inconsequential accomplishments a guy puts on his chin strap and he's running around <laughs> in routine tackles and plays. Now, my question here is also the dancing, you know. Now, let's be honest. In that Super Bowl, the only white guy dancing was Fred Astaire. <laughs> With a broom. Right. He's the one not getting paid for dancing. Though. Well, I mean, hey, the white guys can't sport. dance. They probably couldn't do yeah. that. I mean, that They do chickens that. and gooses and things like that. The white like, guys? Yeah, Tony Saragusso, who plays for the Indianapolis Colts. He does the goose. That's where he gets his name. Somebody from Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think that's more of a black thing? I mean, is it a black thing they that do we don't? They're better. What? They do no, they're better. just better dancers. Yeah, they're better dancers. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Goose you know really wants to dance. <laughs> Go ahead. What? I, I that, think it's appropriate. I, I like it. It's a celebration. They're happy. They're having a good time. They're number one. They're, you know, they're. I mean, good. I think you can go too but far. You, I think you know when you dance in the end zone, that's fine. When you bump the heads with other. But, you know, when it, sometimes, you know, I heard about one guy uh, killed his wife and a waiter. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, You're referring to O.J. Simpson. Well, I'm not and good with names. I don't tell the story. He, O.J. Simpson never did any of that stuff, and I don't think that pent-up energy ever did anybody any harm. Maybe he should have, you know? Maybe he should have done oh, some of that Oh, I see what you're saying. I think it's, look, it's harmless, and it's cute. I don't like when people are nagging about that, and they're boys. They're doing their peacock thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's cute. You know, you notice the, the male peacock, how beautiful and strutting, and just, you know, I think really? it's Really? Right. Yeah, I mean, when I your like kids it. are watching, you have kids? Well, yes. And you sure? Yeah. <laughs> well, when they're I watching the game, that is the kind daughter. of... I have a grown daughter, so that's But that is I the kind it. of sportsmanship you... I mean, they never used to do that. It's showmanship. It I mean, is there's showmanship. There's a lot of show business. Right. You know, the more they dance, the more money they get? <laughs> yeah, because why? No, I don't that's believe That's like that. a Jerry Maguire, the guy... I don't believe it. What about concert. the biggest... What, we got one of the biggest rounds of applause in that movie when that happened. Well, isn't that kind of a minstrel mentality? You know, the black guy dances, we give him more money? No, no. Bill. I think we all went quiet on that one, Bill. You can just get on to that one yourself. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break, change panels. We'll be right back. Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, brought to you by Zantac 75. When is heartburn worst for you? Right at bedtime. In the middle of the night. Then I found Zantac 75. I took the liquids, to the tablets, but sometimes I'd wake up with heartburn again. Zantac 75 changed all that. Just one Zantac 75 controls acid all night long. Zantac 75 contains the number one prescription acid-reducing medicine. Zantac 75 works for me. No more infomercials at 3 a.m. Zantac 75, the final word in heartburn relief. 
perfect day for a sport unit. I put it in four-wheel drive high. Get those extra gear rotations going, huh? <laughs> but you could hit an incline. So, you might want to do four-wheel low. Get that torque working for you? Oh, yeah. Of course, there's ice. High, low, two-wheel, four-wheel. What do you think? Think? You're in the Bravada. It's got smart track, automatically adjusting to changing road conditions. No buttons, no levers, no thinking required. So where's that lever, anyway? Bravada. It knows the road. Sign up for Sprint Sense Dime a Minute right now, and your evenings and weekends will never be the same again. It's the weekend, and I'm in the dime zone. Right away, I have the beach all to myself. Then these people ask me to house that for the rest of the summer. Best of all, my calls are just 10 cents a minute. With Sprint Sense, you're in the dime zone. Every weeknight and all weekend long. And when you sign up now, you'll also get up to 100 minutes free. Call now, 1-800-PIN-DROP. Raul Marquez is undefeated in 26 professional bouts. He makes the first defense of his IBF junior middleweight crown against Olympic medalist Romalis Ellis. Live Saturday on Wide World. La alegría de ganar y la agonía de perder. The average car travels 12,000 miles a year. The average tires last 40,000 miles. So sooner or later, you're going to need a new set of wheels. Where do you go? A place with thousands of tires and the best brands rolling. People with diplomas in tireology and floors your grandmother could kiss. Oh, yeah, and they serve a great cup of joe. NTB, National Tire and Battery. Now in Humble on Highway 59, just north of Deerbrook Mall. week only. Celebrate Toyota's $3,500 in savings on Toyota T100 full-size truck. And get 6 9 for 60-month financing. Toyota's number one in America sale. Hurry it all ends Monday, July 7th. Save on Toyota now at the Toyota Power Team dealer nearest you. If you're planning to be in the Los Angeles area and would like free tickets to Politically Incorrect, call 213-852-2655. Okay, we're uh, back with our uh, post-Super Bowl wrap-up show. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there is another big sports story in the news that was last week, a football player named Walt Sweeney. Do you remember him playing? You're a big fan. No? I don't either. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Okay, who did he play for? The Chargers, I think? All right. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, he uh, played 20 years ago, and he sued the NFL, and, uh, and he won. The judge awarded him a couple of million dollars, and he said when he played, they made him take amphetamines and painkillers so he'd get out there, and they encouraged drinking to be one of the boys, and now he's a drug addict from this stuff. That's what he said. He said his life has stood still for 20 years, and he's got the big mutton chop sideburns to prove it. <laughs> and... and uh, and he's uh, going to get money for this, and, uh, and somebody else is going to take responsibility. Anybody? Uh, yeah. Against I always it? have something to say, Bill. No, am I against it? No, I'm not against it. Really? No. You're because not against what? I'm not against <laughs> the court awarding him $2 okay. million. Dollars because if you played football in that era, you, you ever heard anybody say, <clears throat> and everybody here has said it, I don't know what I would do if I wasn't doing what I'm doing. And yes, it holds really that. true for professional football players. And in that era, he wasn't making that much money compared to what they do now. Steve Young, how much does Steve Young make a year? Oh, lots. A lot. Well, he took 20 cortisone shots at halftime in the Philadelphia game. Who did? Steve, Steve Young. Young. 20 cortisone 20 cortisone shots in his ribs. Wow. Yeah. His ribs must have been really high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, this guy... But that's you, his choice. I understand as, that. I understand that, but he wanted to play. Right? But in 20 years, he could say, you guys got me hooked. But it was his choice to play. And isn't it the same with this guy, Walt yeah, Sweeney? Yeah, but, but he's being paid to play. He's being paid, right. He's being... Right? <laughs> it's, it's, I agree. He's being paid to play. In that era, if you didn't take the drugs, you weren't going to be paid to play but anymore. you just said, I don't know whether you're arguing the meat or the loaf here. Because <laughs> you're... I think I said the same thing at the same time. <laughs> I'm confused. 
Are you confused? Did I, did I, you know did I confuse myself? You're saying it's a matter of choice. Exactly. Bottom line. You. But well, it's not it's really a matter of choice. A, I agree no. with Meatloaf. Did some of them turn it down? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, no, that's easy since, like our president, he's on both sides of the issue. <laughs> no, I'm not on no, both sides. No, he's saying that, that you, you really know, have no lady. choice. You have to do this to stay competitive. Oh, when I ran track when I was a, when I was a kid. Oh, don't and, break. And when it started, when I ran track, uh, I was a good. I was good. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> people started jabbing what they told me was B12 into their ass. <laughs> and it turned out to be it turned out to be steroids, but I didn't know that. Are you kidding? Yeah, and, then, you, and they did this to you? No, no, they didn't. They, they didn't jam anything in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> but they, all the all the guys were were were, were jamming B12 in their ass. I don't know, I don't. Know, I shouldn't be saying jamming. They were inject, injecting. <laughs> This is anyway. the Peacock syndrome in action right here. <laughs> but he would not have played had he not taken the painkillers. Well, what did you see North Dallas 40? Yes, I, mean, I did. That was a, I, I mean, that was some kind of Hollywood exaggeration, but I think it was close to the truth. But the implications for the rest of society are tremendous in this. Okay. Are, isn't that true? I that agree. Also... I, I have to believe there are some that turned down the drugs, you know, that didn't take them. That. Yeah, and they don't play. Or, well, we don't know. I'd like to hear, you know. No, they don't, I'm telling you, they don't play. So, they, well, that should be illegal. Would you feel differently if it was, say, a college football player 20 years later said, I'm illiterate because I played ball and they kept passing me through? Would you feel differently about it? Is it the drug issue or is it the idea that somebody just went along? I think that's a good analogy, but... Um, <laughs> but first of all, that's college. I mm -hmm. mean, you are paying a college to educate you. Uh, so if they if they really I mean if if they tried to and you just didn't do it that's your personal responsibility. So it's down to personal responsibility. For I you. think it Bottom is a personal line. responsibility case. What about the hundreds and hundreds of football players who aren't suing who did this? What why how come yeah. they their lives were able to? Uh, go Some people on? have more of an addictive personality than others. But, and the rest of us should pay for that? Yeah, I think the guy with the really addictive personality <laughs> is the one you should give 1.8 million dollars to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Of life, forget football. Right. Could, aren't, aren't people compromising every day well, to keep their jobs? But what couldn't exactly? What couldn't uh, Jan Michael Vincent say? Show business made me uh, what I am today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right? <laughs> show business makes people do terrible things, like like be on this show. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're out of time in this area. We'll come back and talk about uh, something else. Last year, Americans spent over two and a half billion dollars on products for their backs. Here's a nice item. <laughs> Why is this market so large? It could be that some people aren't sleeping on the right mattress. We'd recommend a Sealy Posturepedic Sleep System. Its patented coils give your back the correct support it needs. Posturepedic support, only from Sealy. I'm not comfortable with this. They tried our refreshing blue flavor. Mm. They tried our minty green flavor. Mm. Then we told them both were Listerine. Mm. Cool Mint and Fresh Burst Listerine. All of Listerine's germ-killing power mm. with great taste. Face it, we're a nation of feel-gooders and have-funners. We'll pursue happiness just about any way we can. And that's cool with us, you know, whatever makes you feel good. So drink up, friends, we're here for you. After all, that's where we put the fruit in Fruitopia, to make you feel good. So, keep doing what it is that you do, and we'll keep doing what we do. Fruitopia, we just want to make you feel good. You want me to give up fluoride for whiter teeth? Relax. Aquafresh Whitening gives you all the fluoride of Crest, but whitens better. With a patented TriClean formula that gently breaks up stains. Aquafresh Whitening. Safe to use every day for dazzling whiter teeth. Monet. Van Gogh. Renoir. It's stage one of the Tour de France, Sunday on ABC Sports. There are two names synonymous with Alvin, Texas. The Ron Carter Automotive Group and Nolan Ryan. I've called Alvin home for a long time. 
It's a great place to raise a family. And folks are easy to do business with, like the Ron Carter Automotive Group. That's why families, including my own, know it's worth the trip to come to Alpha. Home to over 20 acres, a dozen brand names, one legendary pitcher. My friends at the Ron Carter Automotive Group. The IKEA twice a year sale ends Sunday, July 6th at 6 p.m. So hurry in. We're doing a massive clearance to make room for exciting new merchandise. Save up to 50% off IKEA's everyday low prices on selected items throughout the store. We offer the best possible values every day, so savings like these are nothing short of incredible. Don't miss it. By the time our next sale rolls around, you'll be searching for cards that convey season's greetings in a politically correct yet festive way. Open 4th of July. The biggest athletic shoe sale of the year is at Just For Beats this week. $19.99 Blowout. Our warehouses are jam-packed with your favorite name brand. $19.99 Blowout. Sandals, boots, basketball, baseball, tennis, cross-training, aerobic. $19.99 Blowout. Famous names like Reebok, Converse, and many more. $19.99 Blowout. Values that were up to $89.95. $19.99 Blowout. This week at Just For Feet, where the 13th fair is free. Okay, let's talk about the, the military a little, because an important ruling came down uh, last week from federal judge Shira Scheinman, who said that uh, they could now buy at the PX, on the base, dirty magazine, if you will. Uh, <laughs> big military support yeah. here. Yeah. It's a big military There's state. There's some deprived California. military right. personnel we can big see. <laughs> She, <laughs> she, she also included <laughs> also included videos in the ruling saying they were also protected by free speech, although the plots were kind of thin. No, um, anyway, it was called the, the, the act that she overturned was called the Military Honor and Decency Act, uh, which for years had uh, banned the selling of this kind of material uh, because they said in that act that they thought it would encourage sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. Well, now people, some people are saying maybe the opposite is true. A, a quick session with the pet of the month, and maybe that soldier is... Yeah. 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 You get sleepy. You get sleepy. <laughs> don't you get sleepy? What do you mean? You, you don't want to rape somebody <laughs> when you're sleepy. Why are you sleepy? Well, after you watch the, the porno. Listen, I like... <laughs> I like, I like, I like, I like... You, know, you have a strange metabolism. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's those B12 shots you got. Right. No, I like, in high school. I like porno as much as the next guy, you know? And <laughs> I probably like it... Uh, but I probably like it a hundred times as much as the next guy. But <laughs> Although, you know, I have been watching... Uh, this is amazing, because porno is my favorite kind of movie to watch. And yet... I've seen some pornos lately that my buddies have shown me. Have you seen these ones with all male casts? <laughs> Gay pornos, they're called? These things are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's, thousands, there's thousands of them. They make thousands of them. They have not made one good one. <laughs> and I'll tell you what the problem with it I'll tell you what the problem with it is. Quite seriously. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sir. Quite seriously, the problem with these gay pornos and uh, <laughs> <laughs> every one uh, guys having sex with each other. <laughs> Who the hell wants to see that? You know? uh, yeah. I, maybe you're shopping in the wrong section of the store. <laughs> This is not for me. I wonder if they, can, they can't have those in the military base, then. But these, uh, but don't ask, don't tell, don't watch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting question. I don't know if this ruling includes gay material on the base. Do you know? Well, uh, you know, it's really ironic at a time when they're trying to sensitize the soldiers. They're sending them to training to, on mm -hmm. how to treat women with respect. And now they're stocking the PXs with uh, porno. Uh, magazines. It doesn't make sense. I mean, it's a mixed message, wouldn't you say? Why? Well, because uh, these magazines de degrade women. They do. And I'll say one thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, this Why don't you just stand up for this segment? You know, like in the this, this is a little warning for people. Playgirl magazine has not got any girls in it. <laughs> I 
I give up. Um, no, please, this hunk is done. Um, but I don't see what you say. They, but they don't all degrade. You don't, th you don't think Playboy degrades Well, I don't look at them. Uh, obviously, I don't look at them. Well, then how can you, you speak know, I've read about it, and, and I, I have a general idea of what's oh, going on. Have you ever seen oh, you Yes, I have, but I don't, you know, I don't. Go out of my way and look for No, I don't. Well, Norm has but, some uh, material in Yes, I'll ask Norm room. next time. I'll call him and He's got see thousands of videos. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they're all male. They might, you might no, enjoy it. No, no, no. <laughs> all right. Uh, we've really settled that question. We'll have to take a break and re rack If you have kids, you practically live in your car. So when something goes wrong, they come along. That is and uh, yes, uh, now, how many are with America Online? That's one of the big internet things, I guess. Yeah, the... I know, see, they're unhappy because there's so many people. It's so popular that they can't log on. And you gotta log on. Uh, but they, the uh, America Online people say, don't worry, if you're really uh, desperate to chat to a complete stranger, you can always hang out at the bus station. And <laughs> until they... And <laughs> finally, I thought this was a very disturbing story. In England, they did a survey of priests over there. One third of them could not name all Ten Commandments. Is it, these are priests. In fact, one of them thought the Tenth Commandment was a new book by Robert Ludlum. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming. It's all been satirized for your protection. Have a safe and happy fourth from ABC 13. Tonight on Politically Incorrect, Meatloaf, Saturday Night Live, Storm McDonald, journalist Allison Stewart, and columnist Quinda Bowles. And now, the star of Politically Incorrect, Thank you. Thank you. Please. Please. I have to report this. I tell you, the O.J. Simpson lawyers, they have reached a new low. Did you see this? I'm not making this up. In the trial yesterday, they were mocking Ron Goldman because the plaintiff said, oh, he might have his re own restaurant by now. And Robert Baker, O.J.'s lawyer, said he'd be lucky to have a credit card. Isn't that low? And O.J. immediately picked up on the credit card theme and announced uh, plans for an ad. Visa, everywhere you say you were. <laughs> Um, I tell you. Now, the, the O.J. case may go to the jury this week, which is <clears throat> good news for everybody, especially uh, Geraldo can start taking off the glasses and getting back to talking to teenage hookers. So I, <laughs> I think he'll be happy. I'm kidding, Geraldo. Will be, Geraldo will be with us Friday. I hope, he, I hope he'll still be with us Friday after that little remark. Anyway, uh, President Clinton announced a very important thing. He's going to hook up schools, wants to hook up schools to the Internet. Do you have your internet hooked up? I'm not an internet type, but uh, I hear it's terrific. He said all kids should be on the internet. He actually went too far. He called it a national shame that uh, teenage boys still have to masturbate with magazines. I think <laughs> that... First, she won a Peabody Award for election coverage on MTV. Now she's a correspondent for CBS on 48 Hours and Coast to Coast. Allison Stewart. Hey, good luck. Good to see you again. How you been? You look great. All right, she is a syndicated columnist. whose work has appeared in the Washington Post and the Chicago Tribune, one of our favorites, Linda Bowles. Hey. You look hot. How you doing? Thank you very much. All right, he is the anchor of Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update. He also does a mean Bob Dole. Is there any other kind? Norm MacDonald. Hey, buddy. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> he
He's a rock and roll who sold over 45 million records. He could kick slip Slim Whitman's ass. <laughs> Our very own favorite bat out of hell, Meatloaf, is right over there. How are you? Welcome to California. Oh, thank you. Hi, kids. Um, All right. Well. All right. Now. You're a musician. Did you watch the American Music Awards last night? No, I didn't. Okay, well, you should have. It was on this network. Um, <laughs> well, I watched that last night, and I watched the Super Bowl, of course, like every other red-blooded American the day before. And I just, I was thinking maybe I'd get an acclamation from this panel right to start off. Could we have people in show business and sports stop thanking God?